What's up guys, so with 2.9 here live, we've actually been able to look at some coin purse data. This is actually from the uh, public test server, 5,500 coin purses thanks to malfunction on the official forms. He did a nice sample size there, gave us some great information on this. Uh, base labor cost is 20. You can see the silver is roughly around uh, 50 to 60 silver per purse, he, he says there. The big thing is that you can also get an ionod scrap out of this. So out of 5,500 purses, he only got one scrap. We don't know if that was unlucky or lucky. As more data comes out, we'll find out. These Queen's, Queen's coin purses are gotten from the uh, August Manitower area in Aurora. So it's a smallish area of getting these coins purses. Um, now, you can see the item drop rate looks very, very similar to the other purses. You got lots of regrape razors, lots of Archeum trees in there. And... The moon point, sun point, star point seems to be okay. You know, 5,500 coin purses. You got 65, 30, 48 of those guys. The big thing, though, is what we've been really looking for in coin purses now is the mysterious garden powder. And out of these 5,500 coin purses, he only picked up 27 mysterious garden powder. And also, what stands out here is the astronomical low rates of lunarites, fine, superior, those things are almost non-existent there. Look at that. And Lunarites, they require so many to create those Lunar Gems. So we are, once again, in a Lunarite scarce environment. The coin purses are not dropping them, like, hardly whatsoever. And, uh, you know, actually, at this point, Archeum kind of is on the back burner. Archeum prices have been fairly cheap, uh, leading up to 2.9. And you get just get so much Archeum out of the cash shop, which... You know, most people just throw credits and throw money at Trion Worlds, meaning that the coin purse Archeum is not really relevant too much anymore. But looking through this, we've gone through and we crunched some numbers, and we've got an approximately a uh, silver per labor ratio here for you. So after everything is said and done, we use Morpheus's auction house prices, and we come around to a 7.2 silver per labor ratio here, and that's a base silver point uh, ratio. So if you're just using the 20 labor points to open up the coin purses you have no proficiency no bonuses whatsoever you should approximately get around 7.2 uh, silver every time you open up a coin purse on average which is actually pretty good for coin purses so this one is a uh, a decent coin purse it's probably the best basic coin purse in the game the bad side though is that you cannot get any green ones or blue ones on this and green ones and blue ones in the coin purses have a lot higher silver per labor ratio than this so this is a good thing it's going to cut down some of your farming time you know 20 labor to open up that's a lot that's going to cut down the amount of monsters that you need to kill to get enough purses to open up and to spend all your labor a uh, great way to just destroy labor really quickly this pool 5500 coin purses was essentially 110,000 or so labor points again that's without the uh, reduction in labor so that's a lot of labor points. 5,500 coin purses that can be farmed in about a day. It's uh, fairly easy. The monsters there are 54 and 55, nothing crazy. So yeah, so a decent coin purse value. The We estimated the I-9 scrap at around 100 gold. And I think that's actually kind of generous on I-9 scrap. The scrap you need at least 50 to make an accessory design and 80 to make an armor design and 100 to make a weapon. And we're going to see these, these I-9 designs drop a tremendous amount in the game because you, there's a daily quest that you can get one guaranteed by killing some mobs in the library you can also randomly get them from killing the treasure chest in the library and also from these coin purses so there's going to be so many ways now to get the ionide designs plus people are continuously farming the heart of ionide dungeon and at the current values we're seeing you know weapon Ionide design scrolls right around 10,000 and armor scrolls are hovering around 8,000 or so meaning that if you take 80 of these scraps they should be worth less than 80 gold uh, for a weapon it should be about 100 gold so right around there I mean we're seeing the ionide scraps themselves will probably eventually get down to like 50 to 75 gold I think ionide designs are going to get down you know to the 5,000 ish range uh, in the near future so ionide scrolls the scrap is not really going to be worth that much. The big thing is I think that the Mysterious Garden Powder is going to jump up tremendously. We've touched on this before. I think that we will eventually get the 30 gold here. Again, unless they put it in a, a you know, Tryon Worlds event, something like the little clicky boxes or 
uh, put it in the cash shop, which is very possible they could do that. But there's not enough mysterious garden powder in the world for all the new stuff that's happening. All the pretty much all the new things that comes with 2.9 require mysterious garden powder in some way or form. There's some component in there, some items that have to be crafted using mysterious garden powder. And the only way to get them is through the coin purses. And if people aren't coin purse farming because other activities are better, great greater you know value for their labor, the price of these things rise fast, fast, fast. So I think we're going to see 30 gold or so on this mysterious garden powder. At this ratio, what we what we did is we guesstimated um, the value of the garden powder only at 10 gold. So this is going to be a, a pretty significant increase in coin purse value. You might get up towards the 10 silver per labor if we get mysterious garden powder at around 30 gold each. So as mysterious garden powder rises, it has become better and better to coin purse farm. And again, the blue ones... The blue coin purses in the library and in the, the open world, the prince coin purses, those guys are worth a lot of money. They're actually a really, really good silver per labor ratio. The blue coin purses are, you know, upwards of 20 to 30, I believe, silver per labor. We'll take a look at those shortly after, uh, but they have some great ratios in there. And it's just, it's, it's a gold mine, but they take a lot of time. They're like one every hour to farm. So it's extremely hard to farm and get. Uh, but they are extremely good. So keep farming for the coin purses. Get those blue ones and the green ones. Uh, the base ones aren't necessarily the greatest. The queens one here are pretty good. And I will talk to you later, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that like button. Share the video. Tell your friends about the channel. Subscribe. And I'm out of here.